Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I hope everybody is doing well. Today's a video we're going to be creating these beautiful kaleidoscope galaxy looking nails. And if you are interested in how I did these nails, then please keep on watching. So my nails are all ready to go and now I'm just going to be applying some base coat and this is just going to give me a base for the design. I saw this design on Young Nails and uh, Melissa De La Cruz was the one who created it. It was so, so pretty. I loved it and I just had to try it myself. I don't have all of the products that she used specifically, but I do have quite a bit of stuff and I'm just going to make it work with what I have. So right now, again, I'm just applying that base coat and I'm going to cure this in the lamp for a full 60 seconds before we get started. I got this gel frosting black paint from Profiles Backstage and I'm just taking some of that and this is where I'm going to create that black nail base in different areas. It's not going to be across the whole nail, it's going to be different on each nail. And this is just really going to start up that structure and that dimension. I'm using black gel paint because I really want the uh, pigmentation to be really dark and I didn't want to use polish where I'd have to use a couple layers to get it to the darkness that I would need it. You could definitely use polish if that's all you had, um, but this, since we're going to be doing a ton of layers, um, you just want to try to keep the nail as thin as possible. So just be very delicate in the amount of layers and the amount of product that you're using because we still have to encapsulate everything at the very end. You don't play for keeps Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah Kinda love you, wanna build your dreams on, yeah But I already know better I'm a go-getter and I got me I'm good Once we have finished that, we're gonna cure that in the lamp for a full minute I'm now going to take my builder gel and I'm going to take a very thin layer and just apply it over all of the nails. Keep this layer as thin as possible. We just wanted enough for product to stick to it. Without curing, I'm now going to go in with some chunky glitters and I'm just going to place this in all of the negative space areas and overlap some to the black, but we don't want to cover the black completely. So we still want that to be visible and we're just going to place these glitters all around the clear spaces on all of the nails. Taking some fine glitter, this one here is from Young Nails. I'm going to place this over top of the chunky glitter. I still haven't cured anything. Uh, this is just sticking onto the first layer of Builder Gel that we have put on. I'm going to overlap this a little bit more into the black so you can see it. And this is what's really going to start creating that dimension and making it look really nice.
After I'm happy with that, I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds to hold everything in place. I'm now going to take some base coat to create another layer. Again, we want to keep everything as thin as possible, so that's why I'm using base coat. And we're going to add some mylars to really create the dimension of color. And when the light hits the nails, it's going to look different in each direction. And every, this is just really going to bring everything to life. I know it might look messy right now, but I promise you in the end, like once you put that top coat on, it is stunning. It's too late now to turn around and back again. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it. And I'm sorry I'm not perfect, but I knew that I wouldn't be. I guess it's for the best, you know, the worst. Taking some of my builder gel, gonna be placing this on my little tray here. I'm gonna be mixing a little bit of perfect white in there to give it that milky, smoky texture. And then I'm gonna be placing a little bit more white off to the side here, cause we're gonna be using both. Mix this all up really good. And then we're gonna be placing this on the nails where the black meets the clear negative space. So this is just, again, gonna be creating a little bit more texture more dimension just adding all of this stuff is really going to pull this whole look together you have to work quickly with builder gel because it's self-leveling it will run all over the nail so i do two nails at a time sometimes even one depending on how long i'm taking on each nail so once i have this where i want it i am going to take some of that white polish and just kind of draw squiggly lines in there to give it a little more character and then do a full cure for 60 seconds to hold everything in place. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my actions they have me and I'll never live it down. I'm no good at being good, but I never said I was. So do you wanna take me back? Got love a broken plan so we can start again. Wanting down a second chance I'm too selfish for that I let you fall again Now that you know that I'm no good at being good But I never said I was once we do that to all of the nails I'm now going to encapsulate so taking some of that builder gel and really go over these nails get into all the nooks and crannies there's a lot of stuff in there we got to get underneath that builder gel because of all of the different layers you don't want anything sticking out so honestly it's gonna look hella thick but once you file it it's gonna look so much better
Once I'm done with that, I'm now going to remove that tacky layer from the builder gel. So I'm just using some rubbing alcohol to do that. This is how we are looking nice and thick. So now we're going to file like crazy. So builder gel is pretty easy to file. So this process doesn't really take too long, but you just want to really make sure you get into all angles and make sure you bring that thickness way down. I already did the cuticle area, so now I'm just taking the bulk of it down with um, my round bit here. And yeah, you just keep doing it until you're happy with it. Scraping away all that dust from the cuticle area, I am going to be uh, taking some Young Nail Swipe and just cleaning all the dust off of the rest of the nail. And I saw in her video, uh, Melissa's video, that they use Protein Bond before applying top coat, which I thought was pretty interesting. I guess it's supposed to like smooth out any um, little cracks or scratches in the nail. So I don't know, I might start doing that from now on. Well, after I did this, I realized that I wanted to add some gold foil, so I kind of got ahead of myself here. So right now I'm just adding some base coat, and I'm going to be placing some gold foil just randomly on the nail. Just another way to bring in some dimension. I wish I would have remembered this before I encapsulated, uh, because it probably would have been better for it to be on the inside, so you don't have to worry about anything sticking out, but... You can usually get it pretty flat and not really even notice. After I've placed all my gold foil, I finish off with some top coat and it already looks so, so pretty. I just love this look. I'm going to be adding some rose cuticle oil. This is from Young Nails and this here is the finished look. I am so, so obsessed with it. I just love everything about it, the dimension, the colors. All the different layers, you can just see everything in the nail and once the light hits it, it is just absolutely stunning. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments down below, what you think of this set, how I recreated it, and if I did it any justice. I really, really appreciate you guys being here and watching my video. Thank you so much for joining me and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye!